All right, Panda Kindergarten. This is an informational text, so that means it's a true story. And if you'll notice, all the pictures are photographs, right? So they're actual pictures. They're not drawings. They're not illustrations. They're pictures. One panda cub is a sight to see. Two panda cubs together is rare. But imagine seeing 16 young giant pandas all at once. Meet a panda kindergarten class at the Wulong Nature Reserve in China, where pandas are protected, loved, and given great care. That's 16 pandas, so cute. Each cub is born in a cozy room on a soft bed of straw. A newborn cub is fuzzy and pink. After a few weeks, it starts to look like its black and white mother. An ever so big mother panda carries her ever so tiny baby, holding it firmly but tenderly. She guides her new cub, which cannot see her, to rest on her, on her broad furry chest and drink her fresh milk. So cute. All the young cubs are watched over by their mothers and by kind trained people. Pandas often have twins, but a mother can care for only one cub at a time. The other twin needs to be fed and kept healthy and protected in a nearby panda nursery. So, they, so the humans are feeding the panda instead of the mom, huh? Look at that. They're trying to weigh it. As the small bear grows, the skilled and helpful people and the mother panda swap cubs. So each twin gets consistent care and both share time with their mother. With such a loving team, each panda cub grows and grows. Slowly its eyes open wide and it begins to see its mother's furry face and other faces full of smiles. When the panda cubs are big enough to leave their nursery and their mothers, they are ready to have new adventures and to make new friends in panda kindergarten. Here come the kindergartners. Look at them go. The young pandas have their own panda playground full of places where the cubs can swing and climb and play with their new friends. Pandas that play together may learn to be comfortable with each other as cubs and as adults. In their outdoor playground, the curious cubs learn exciting things about the world. They discover snow is cold and very slippery. Pandas always find new ways to play, like tugging and tearing and touching their toes. To a panda cub, almost anything can be a toy. Bolder and stronger, cubs try new things, climbing high and dangling until it's time for lunch in the panda kindergarten. <laughs> Kids holding on to the worker. With so much to do and so much to discover, lively little bears start feeling tired and sleepy. It's time for cubs to take a nap. The young pandas will be together in panda kindergarten for about a year. As they grow older, some will stay in their safe Wulong home and have cubs of their own. One day, some may be chosen to leave and live in the bamboo forests on, in the tall, misty mountains nearby. Then the rare pandas born in Wulong would roam free and wild, able to use the skills they learned when they were small. 
Learning from each other and from the people who care for us, the pandas born in Wulong are on a special journey that gives hope to pandas everywhere and to all who love them. I love that story. So our essential question again was, what ideas can you suggest to protect the environment? So I'm curious to know what are some things that we can do to help protect our environment that would also help to protect the pandas? I wonder if you have any ideas for that. If you do, go ahead and post them down below or um, share a video on your portfolio, okay? All right, guys, have a great rest of your week.